Yolanda, Atlanta Track Club, representing here. Got the win in the one mile. Dr. Sander, how do you feel out there for you? Eh, good. Actually, well, I heard we went out a little bit slow. So I got nervous. I was like, oh no, I have to kick now. But then, yeah, it went really well. Like, I was in the lead and at that point, I was like, well, if I want to win, I have to literally just make you nothing. <laughs> and then, yeah, I did. So it was really good. Talk to me about kind of the last lap. I, I saw you kind of digging in and like maybe looking around a little bit to make sure no one's around. Like, what was that feeling like? Yeah, I do. I was like, okay, I know the last lap's going to be fast. Oh, the two last laps. I kind of looked at the TV. I was like, oof, they're right there. And actually, I heard my coach just scream like, move. And I'd asked him before like what he's going to say because it's the first time he's coaching me like at, in the mile. Uh, and then I knew, I was like, I'm going to have to run for my life like right now. So that's kind of, I was thinking I got to get everything from now to the end. And then just like hope it lasts. So. And then Atlanta Track Club. I mean, you guys seem to really be growing on the rise. So much going on. Talk to me about the club in general. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we actually just have a new coach now, uh, Tommy Nohilly. So, yeah, I've only been coached by him for like four months. So that's like kind of nerve wracking, you know, to just switch coach so close to season. But it's been really good. I really like him. Like, I don't know. He just like has like great energy and like. I don't know, he just makes me feel really calm, so and that's what I need before race, right? I, I feel like I can be uptight, so. There you go. And then you opened up, you said at Albuquerque, this is your second meet, where's uh, coming up next for you? Uh, actually, Tommy like doesn't plan so far ahead, so I have no idea what I'm next weekend, or like tomorrow. But I know now that I'm going to Millrose, so I was there actually in 2020, so it's been like four years. So I'm happy to like kind of like burn my way back in again, so it feels good. And then last question, just last year, I know you've done some injuries and setbacks and things like that, right? What's the mindset coming into this year, especially with the coaching change, but you know, what's everything going on? Yeah, I think like this, this summer and fall was hard, like knowing you're going to switch coaches. And, but I think I'm just like, you know, I'm like 32. I feel like I'm going into my peak. So I'm like, if I got like two or three years left, like, this is it. So I feel like now when I go for to camp or like on a run, I like actually enjoy it too. Like after being injured so many times, like now I'm just not gonna be injured. <laughs> I'm gonna be healthy. And I'm gonna enjoy like my last years and like just be better. Like I wanna be faster. I'm going to be faster. There you go. That's my affirmation. <laughs> Listen, 32, but you're still young. You're still killing it on the track. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>